Chad Edward with Fighters.com here with the new Strike Force light heavyweight champion, Gegard Musashi, MMA's newest sensation. Everybody's very excited after uh, watching the fight versus Babalu. Um, actually, we just interviewed Gegard uh, about a week ago, so um, I'm not going to rehash those questions. I've got new questions because very recently, uh, former WEC middleweight champion Paolo Fijo called Gagard out. Um, he said he wanted to fight, fight you, Gagard, and uh, he would give up his salary if you won. Do you have any response to that? Yeah, I read those comments. It made me, it annoyed me actually, uh, because I met Paolo Fijo in uh, Pride. Mm -hmm. He was a really nice guy. We all saw what happened when he came to America. He wasn't. He got beat up. Now he's back in Japan. Right. He feels like a kid in a candy store. I think <laughs> he can use uh, all kind of steroids, and uh, I think the steroids uh, has gone to his head. So uh, you're saying that he can use steroids in uh, in know, Japan? He didn't perform. The same as he does in Japan, as in uh, in uh, how you say in America. Right. And now he suddenly has a big mouth again. Um, so he's, you think he's got a little courage from uh, from the needle? Yeah, definitely. I, I would say he's a little donkey that is on steroids. Who thinks he's a running horse now? <laughs> Yeah, but with his height, is like more a little like a little pony, I would say. Does uh, if he agreed to fight you in the United States, would that be a different story? If if there's an athletic commission um, test, yeah, he can fight me everywhere, everywhere he wants. But you also fight in Japan. Yeah, I fight, but I also fight in Japan, and I'm uh, I don't use anything. And in the United go. States, and you get tested when you fight. Yeah, I don't. Uh, you saw what happened when other fighters that came from Japan, yeah. when they fought in the U.S. and how they performed. So, uh, I don't know. The, I don't know. But uh, it annoyed me actually what he said. And uh, he said, "Let's let's talk specifically." He said that uh, he he referenced specifically your armbar loss, Takahiro Gono. And said he would he could do the same. Um, you've mentioned to Fighters.com that you're working on your on your ground game. Is it, does he know your weakness? Is that could he it catch you in an armbar? Malamano was knocking me, him almost out, <laughs> and uh, I don't like to trash talk, but he says a lot of stupid things, and um, I don't like it. So if he wants uh, competition and uh, trash talking. I can do it also. Um, <clears throat> the, la the last question on that, I think, is the you're both contracted to Dream. Uh, you say you wouldn't fight him in Dream because there's no test. Is that is that true? Yeah, basically that's what it is, and I really believe he used steroids, and um, he also backed up a couple times when he had to fight Chel Sonnen. He said he was crazy. <laughs> well, maybe he is crazy. I don't know. <laughs> he had, he had uh, problems uh, making the 185 pound limit as well. Yeah. I think. Um, I think he wasn't feeling very good mentally. Right. Because he couldn't use his uh, magic stuff. <laughs> um.